Okay, so I don't know if I'm the only one in the world who's noticed this recently, but nobody, I don't know, just nobody knows how to put lipstick on anymore. I, I'm just so sick and tired of it. So finally I decided to do something about it. So here I am making a video of how to not wear and how to wear your lipstick. So there's no excuse anymore. No more shitty lipstick. So way numero uno that I see lipstick done all the time that just drives me completely batshit crazy is the just applying it straight on. Um, I'm just going to show you. It, it looks bad. So, and I know I'm kind of applying it heavily, but I'm proving a point. I need a mirror. So, this is ridiculous. This is what I like to call clown mouth. Get it? Clown mouth? Because your face is painted on? The other great thing about this way of applying it lipstick is that you also get lipstick teeth which is just disgusting and for some reason people just don't notice it when they have red shit all over their teeth drives me crazy so don't do it don't apply your lipstick straight from the tube it just is not what you're supposed to do i understand that sometimes you're in the bathroom and you don't want to go through all the hassle of applying it like a makeup artist i get it i i understand but, you know, <laughs> if you're going to apply it straight from the tube, at least blot. A wild, a wild concept, I know. It's like the weirdest thing ever. I just put lipstick on, let's take it off again. Well, you have to because you just put way too much on. It's not hard. I meet so many girls every day who don't know what blotting is. It's as simple as this. You take a piece of paper. Like, this is pretty much a scrap receipt. Okay? You, a piece of trash paper. And you put it between your lips and you take off some of that nasty shit. It's easy. So this is the second way you should not wear your lipstick. I'm not even going to demo it because I do not want to encourage this behavior. The lighting in my room sucks, but I'm going to get really close to the camera so you can see. Look at this. I am wearing a really, really, really dark maroon lip liner with uh, some kind of taupe lipstick. Ugly. I mean, no color combination is going to work. It is gross. You, I mean, you just look so stupid when you do your lipstick like this. Your lip liner and your lipstick should always match. You're not drawing on your face. You're accentuating what you already have. Get it? Got it? Good. The disgusting lipstick habit I am showing you in this segment of the video is the practice of drawing your lips on around your actual mouth. Now, I get that our society wants you to have the plumpest lips you possibly can have, and I know that some of you have thin lips, but you look ridiculous when you do this. Look at this. I look like a drag queen. Not that I have anything against drag queens, but I am not, in fact, a drag queen, and neither are you. So, just stop doing it. If you, I, I will show you ways to make your lips look nice while still looking like your lips. You think that this looks natural, but we can tell. We can see where your actual lip ends and where the lipstick keeps on going, okay? You're not fooling anyone. So just stop. Just stop. So next on our list of don'ts for your lipstick is the hardest one to fix because technically you're doing everything right but you just do it so wrong and it drives me crazy so right now i am wearing fairly decent looking lipstick maybe not the best color for me but eh, i'm trying and now i'm gonna do that follow-up step of putting on lip gloss because it, it it does make your lips look luscious i guess is the word this is where you go wrong. There we go. This is how I will successfully show you the easiest to fix faux lipstick faux pas. Too much lip gloss. I mean, again, the lighting in my room sucks, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it. <laughs> 
If you have to dip into your lip gloss container more than once, more than half of once, you are using too much lip gloss. Just let me tell you, in person, it looks like I just got out of the orthodontist and have no feeling in my mouth and am therefore drooling all over myself. It's gross. It's gross. Just stop doing it. I know it's supposed to make you look all pouty and sexy and luscious and shiny and hot, but you look gross. So just stop. See, my peas should not make that much noise. So, the final way to make sure you don't look stupid when wearing lipstick is to pick a color that looks right on you. I mean, again, the lighting in my room is just fantastic, so you can't really tell, but right now I am wearing an orange lipstick. I am exceedingly pale. I am stupidly pale. I have no business wearing orange lipstick. It just looks bad. Just because a color is popular, or just because it looks pretty in the tube, does not mean you should wear it. Got it? Good. Here to help me further illustrate the point of wearing bad lipstick is my little sister. So, as you can see, I'm wearing orange lipstick. She's wearing magenta lipstick. N not the way this sh this should go. Um, no. Thoughts? Well, I look like a cheap lady who's not getting any. A cheap lady who's not getting any. Does that seem to explain a lot of your problems? Okay, so all we did was switch our lipstick, and it looks so much better. So much better. Ashlyn has golden and orange tones in her skin. <laughs> so a slightly orange lipstick is going to be better. I am pale as all get out, so I can pull off a pink one every now and again. That's why I say we have different dads. I've been going on for a while now about what you should not do with your lipstick, so now I'm going to actually teach you how to do it right, so that you look like a decent human being when you go out into public. Um, it is a few more steps than you're probably used to. You're going to need a lipstick brush. You can see it's it's pointy. It's cute. Um, this one's from the body shop. That's where I work, and it is labeled lipstick brush. Hard, I know. Next, you're going to need a lip liner. I personally prefer to use um, a skin tone or clear lip liner because then you only have to have one and it matches everything. If you choose to use a colored lip liner, please make sure it matches your lipstick. If you're going to a quality makeup store, they will help you pick out one that matches. If you're not going to a quality makeup store, just go to a quality makeup store. So a lot of you out there are probably wondering why lip liner is so important. Well, this is pretty geeky, so instead of just telling you to use it, I'm going to explain why. It, lip liner, like this one from the Body Shop, this is um, Nude Shade 11 from the Body Shop. It is high in wax, and all that really does is it makes a wax barrier for your lipstick, which is usually um, oil-based. Or if I use all um, Body Shop lipstick, so it's food-based and just kind of slippery stuff and doesn't really like to stay where you put it. I really like Nude Lip Liner because it makes my life a lot easier and I don't have to buy a hundred different ones to match my, all my lipsticks. So the way you want to apply this is just around your lips. I mean, not under your lips or around your lips, but, you know... Like you're tracing them. Trace them. It's not hard. And the sharper your pencil, the more accurate it's going to be. Not difficult. Not difficult at all. And it's going to hold all my lipstick in. Another caution to people who use colored lip liner is to be very, very careful. Use a sharp pencil. Make a really thin line. Because you don't want it to be obvious. Lip liner is not supposed to be seen. It's just there to help. It's a helper. Let it help. Stop being stupid. The next step in your lipstick application is the brush. So I'm using the magenta again because I really like it and it matches my shirt. So you just take your brush and you brush it on. You just brush a little bit on. 
Now you get in there and you start by kind of relining your lips, not, not super detailed. You use the flat edge of the brush. I mean, just put it on. You see, it's already, uh, like you can get a lot of color without using a ton, a ton of makeup. And the funny thing is less is more. It'll last longer. I mean, I know that's counterintuitive, but it's true. Less lipstick will last longer than more. Now for the top. Go ahead and accentuate your cupid's bow. It's cute. It's pretty. Show it off. There you go. And now you have your lipstick on and you don't even need to blot because you have just the right amount. You're not like just covering your face in lipstick. Last but not least in your lipstick process is the lip gloss. It's super fun. Now, remember, you don't want to look like you're drooling all over yourself because that's gross. You just want a little itty like, I don't know if you can, yeah, it's not going to show up on my camera. A little itty bitty, bitty bitty dot of lip gloss. And you just put it in the middle of your bottom lip and smush it around. Smush it around. And there you go. Now you see, that wasn't so hard. In just a few easy steps, you actually look like a functioning human being instead of the slob you were before. I mean, who would have thought? Less makeup? Oh my god. <sighs> Looking good? What a concept! Now remember, just because somebody hasn't come up to you yet and been honest to your face, doesn't mean you don't look bad. Change it before I find you.